So in today's video, we want to talk about organic poultry farming. And under this organic poultry farming, we'll be talking about the organic treatment for coccidiosis. What is organic poultry farming? Organic poultry farming is the process of using herb, root, or leaf to tackle a particular disease in poultry farming. They include feeding your bed with leaves or vegetable. So, we are going to talk about treatment of poultry disease with organic medication. In today's video, we want to talk about coccidiosis. What are the organic or the herbal treatment for coccidiosis? We are going to, to outline them in today's video. But before them, we have to define what coccidiosis is all about. Coccidiosis is a parasitic ailment that attacks the chicken and it is being transmitted through protozoan parasites. So, chicken that are being attacked by coccidiosis can show signs such as weight loss, lowered in egg production, bloody diarrhea, and even death. So now, what are the symptoms of coccidiosis in chicken? Below are some of the signs and symptoms of coccidiosis. We have the bloody diarrhea. We have loss of appetite, weight loss, decrease in egg production, dehydration, ruffle feather, pale comb or wattle. And this disease can trigger Newcastle disease. So now what are the preventive measures for coccidiosis? To prevent this particular disease from attacking your poultry beds, you need to keep the poultry coop or house clean. Provide fresh water or feed. Use probiotics to promote intestine fitness and immunity. Avoid feeding your bed with contaminated feed or water. Provide enough airflow in the poultry coop to forestall moisture buildup. Monitor chicken for symptoms of sickness and isolate any alien bed. So now, what are the organic medication for this coccidiosis? Or what are the plants or herbs used in fighting this particular disease? One, we have apple cider or the vinegar. This uh, vinegar is a famous herbal cure for coccidiosis in chicken. It includes acetic acid, which have antibacterial or antifugal properties. So they can help to fight coccidiosis in your poultry bed. So to use um, vinegar to cure this particular disease, you need to add one to two tablespoons of this raw vinegar. So to every gallon of consuming water, it is vital to use raw or filtered vinegar. So that is the dosage. Number two medication for this coccidiosis is the garlic. Garlic is one of the most potent species or spices for treating coccidiosis in chicken. And garlic has been proven to be high quality in studies. So garlic contains allicin, a compound that is that have antibacterial or antiviral property. As we know, coccidiosis trigger Newcastle disease. So this garlic have antiviral and antibacterial property. So it is very effective in fighting this type of sickness. And garlic has been proven to enhance the chicken immune system and can assist to decrease the quantity of coccidia in the chicken gut. So now what are the dosage of this garlic when you want to use it to treat this particular disease? To treat this particular disease, you need to combine 1 to 2% of garlic powder with the chicken feed. For example, if the chicken consume 100 grams of feed per day, just add 1 to 2 grams of garlic powder to the feed. So, it is very important to do this one. And take note, it is essential to use garlic in moderate amount because excess or overusing of this garlic can be poisonous to the chicken. So just use it in moderate. Number two is the oregano. 
the oregano leaf is another herbal remedy for coccidiosis in chicken. And this oregano carries thymol or cavacrol, a compound that have antimicrobial property. So now what are the dosage? To use this oregano leaf as herbal cure for coccidiosis, you just need to add 2 to 3% of oregano powder to the poultry feed. So now, if you are giving your chicken 100 grams of feed per day, just add 2 to 3 grams of this oregano powder to the feed. Number 4 is the grapefruit or street or seed extract. The grapefruit can be used to fight coccidiosis in your poultry farm and they contain these strong compounds such as narigenin which have antibacterial and antifungal property and this um, this um, grapefruit seed has been proven to enhance the chicken immune system and can assist to reduce the range of coccidia in the chicken gut so now what are the dosage you just need to add 20 to 30 drops of this grapefruit seed to every gallon of water you want to give your poultry bed. The number five medication is the probiotics. Probiotics are very helpful in fighting this coccidiosis infection in your poultry farm. And they can assist to preserve a wholesome intestine environment which is vital in stopping the increase of hazardous microorganisms and parasites such as coccidiosis. So to use probiotics as a herbal remedy for coccidiosis in chicken, you can add probiotic dietary supplement to the chicken consuming water or feed. And fermented feed is a good source of probiotics. Another medication is that of the neem leaf which is the dugoyaro leaf, the bitter leaf, the purple leaf. You can use them to fight this disease. If you want to use the bitter leaf or the neem leaf, you can squeeze them. Just bring their extract and add it in water for them. Or you can dry them and grind them, add it to their feet. Any of this method can work for it. So when you follow this method, you'll be able to fight the spread of this coccidia infection of coccidiosis in your poultry farm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Vitex Farm channel. See you in our next video. Bye.